This right here is my laptop, the ThinkPad T420. It has an Intel Core i5 2520M CPU and Intel HD 3000 integrated graphics card. It has 8GB of DDR3 RAM clocked at 667MHz. As you can see, I currently have Windows 7 Professional running on this laptop, which has already reached its end of life back in 2020. I have thought about installing a Linux distro on it as I use Linux on my PC, but I've decided to use Windows 10 as it has a higher market share. So I flashed an ISO of Windows 10 22H2 onto my USB drive, plug it into the laptop and install Windows 10 onto it. First of all, I have to optimize Windows 10. I want to get the maximum amount of performance which I can out of this integrated graphics card. The first game I tested was Minecraft Java Edition on version 1.12.2. The FPS in Minecraft was very weird. It could go as low as 20, but sometimes it would go over 70 FPS. I was using the Optifine mod to get as much FPS as I can in Minecraft during this testing. Also keep in mind that I'm currently recording. Without any recording software, you would probably get much more FPS than I am currently. After Minecraft, I want to test some older DOS games, specifically this game which I play called The Settlers 2. Using the DOSBox emulator on the default settings, I was able to get around 30 FPS and sometimes it would go down to 20. But considering these are DOS games and you're not really playing multiplayer, I, I'd say that 20 FPS is perfectly fine. The final game which I wanted to test was Need for Speed Most Wanted, specifically the 2005 version, not the 2012 version, because I currently play this game. The game ran well at, ab at around 60 FPS constantly. To conclude this video, I would say that the Intel HD 3000 integrated graphics card is still good for older titles like Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005. Thank you for watching and make sure to come back to the next video because I'm going to try to optimize this laptop as much as I can to get even more FPS in these games.